So I wanted to ask you about um, optimizing your work with vendors. Uh, there's a lot of players, a lot of considerations. What are considerations that you take into account when you're selecting um, the various parts of the programmatic landscape, the vendors? So a lot of times we look for obviously scale and performance, that's our number one. And then the second thing we really look at is client service. Do we have a relationship with these vendors? Are they able to help support us if we you know, need a helping hand, whether um, questions on optimizations or um, whatever it could be that comes up at any moment in time of the campaign, we really look to, to performance scale and that help, that assistance from them. And how about particularly on the SSP side? What are you looking for and how is that world changing and what do you need from an SSP? I think what we really need from an SSP is transparency. We understand that SSPs are there to service publishers and DSPs are there to service buyers, but it's how can we work together to really have those open conversations and that transparency so we can do what's best for our end client. So tell us a little about the growth of the trading desk there at Horizon and sort of how that's become part of the overall media investment strategy. So I think when I started four years ago, we, there was only eight individuals on the HX team and we've really grown. We've developed individualized, specialized teams within the HX programmatic group. Um, we're a team of 45 individuals today. So we've seen a lot of growth internally where digital activation teams are looking to invest more in programmatic and not just display, but also mobile, video, CTV, digital out of home, et cetera. So because we have so many modes of channels to purchase through, we've seen a lot of um, appetite for the advertisers that we work with. So what are the advertisers looking for? And I, I, that's a very broad question. I know that there's been some concern about, you know, transparency and frauds and bots and it seems in your opinion has the uh, supply has the supply been a concern to the advertisers and has it sort of been cleaned up or give us a, some of your thoughts there I think that clients always want to be in the most premium areas that they can be against. Um, in the past, I think programmatic had a negative connotation of being remnant inventory only. So I think the more open conversations we have with SSPs and the more open conversations we have with optimizing those SSPs to make sure that we are in the best environment possible, um, I think that that's a really um, the next step for us when we're working with these clients. So tell us about the sort of the mix of programmatic. How much of it is open? How much is it private marketplaces? I, I'm, you know, sort of, what are the flavors, uh, if you could explain that? For the clients that we work with, I would say 80 to 90% of our buys are open exchange. We prefer to have the the decisioning power in our hands. Um, you know, certain channels like CTV where you can only engage in a PMP, where that's where we'll have to be PMP only. But um, unless a client has a specific site or specific reason that they need to be executing on a specific site, we prefer open exchange buys. And it's, it's interesting, isn't it, that the open exchange is safer now, I guess? Or what, what are some of the controls or safety controls uh, on the open exchange that have made this um, work for you? I think just the verification partners really being partners to us and understanding, you know, what are our clients' needs and their their fears that keep them up at night and really trying to solve those issues with us together as we continue to to buy this inventory. So pre-bid solutions have just, you know, from four years ago when I first joined the trading desk till today, I mean, it's, it's come a really long way. Cool, and I wanted to ask you about um, the challenges that have to be overcome to improve SPO? I think some of the challenges is kind of what I talked a little bit about earlier, is just having that open dialogue between DSPs and SSPs. Um, we understand that the SSPs, main, their main support is being there for the publishers and for the DSPs, it's the buyers, but making sure that we have open and honest conversations between both parties so that we can look to be a safer environment for all of our advertisers when we're placing their buys. And how are things going in terms of um, government regulation, in your opinion? Is it changing the way we're, we're working? Will it change more? The California thing is coming on. What's going on? Yeah, I think that it's definitely going to change in the next year, I think very rapidly. Um, I, I'm optimistic that it'll change in a positive way. I definitely think that privacy and data is, is an issue for a lot of people and they're concerned. Um, so I think we're, we have to see what happens in, in 
with GDPR in California and then see how it rolls out for the rest of the country. And finally, the um, changes in the vendor world in terms of consolidation, we've seen quite a lot. You know, you've worked with quite a lot of vendors that aren't around anymore, I'm right. sure. Um, what sort of what sort of the what is the impact of consolidation and sort of what are the benefits perhaps in the supply side around consolidation? I think the benefits for consolidation is just you no, know, it's the marketplace is so fragmented and there's just so many players out there. So I think the necessity for consolidation is definitely is definitely here. I think as far as SSPs, I think that we're really looking to find the best premium inventory that is going to be the best place for our advertiser to be running. So I think, you know, working with hundreds of SSPs versus just a handful is, is going to make a lot of sense because at the end of the day, we can't control working with all of those vendors on a daily basis. It's just, it's too much. So the idea of us putting in an SPO is making sure that we're really focusing on those vendors that are going to give us that premium inventory with also scale and hopefully help our performance.